Welcome to my music masterclass, synth bass with an emphasis on gospel and jazz. If I take the slope all the way down here, I get this. That's great for production, but I might want to just work with this, work with the transits a little bit. Um, if you want to simulate a plucking sound, I think when you pull your fingers off the note is just as important as when they land on the note. So strong, so high, Two beats or four beats before the start of a new section, you'll hear the drummer doing a setup, and that's where I might do a gliss. I'll do a gliss or, or um, some type of run or something like that. So right there, I felt that the drummer didn't do a fill, the drummer was just doing a build up. So instinctively that gave me the green light to do a fill, but if, if I heard a subdivision beyond what I just heard, something more intricate or out of the way, I would, I would gliss out. So at any time you could. And the role of the bass back in the day, if you listen to and study some of the, the, the older forms of jazz and bebop for, for sure, sometimes the bass played just as much of a percussive role as the drums. In most cases, I will be using more of a release in, in jazz music. In most cases, it just, the or, organic decay is just better. 